everyone welcome to my channel this video I'm going to be building the uh, Tacon 116 scale Jeep this is a new release re released a few months ago you get a um, one figure with this one Got the uh, M250 caliber. There's the engine details, driving gear, and the um, tools. The only thing I've noticed here, you only get, you don't get any other weapons with it. So you can have a World War Two scenario or a uh, Korean War. The Korean War markings here. There's one here. This is uh, 1945, and this is uh, 1950.
Okay, I'm going to prime all the engine pieces here. Okay, I've sprayed the main engine components. Uh, I masked up the generator because I painted that black. <laughs> and the starter motor. And I made a kind of a red oxide color. I think I used just flat brown and some red. Just for the main engine block. Just going to spray some of the worn effects over the engine before I put the olive drab over it. Okay, I've connected the PCV valves and the fuel line. Uh, I just made that out of 20 gauge wire. Connected the uh, oil canister hoses. So the only thing on here is the spark plug leads I've got to do and connect the uh, to the distributor cap and then the rest of the uh, fitting is uh, <coughs> when it goes to, onto the chassis. These uh, fuel lines here I'm going to um, I might paint them because I think they were painted on the original vehicles and maybe just sort of weather it a bit just so they don't look so shiny I think there's a couple of decals to put on here okay made these uh, starter motor power cable connectors here this one goes on on the starter motor about there like that I just used uh, I think it's 20 gauge wire here I just grabbed the uh, pliers here and I flattened one end. Just put a bit of grip on it. <sighs> Make like a sp spade or something. And then you get just cut it, cut it to length. So the uh, tubing from the motorcycle kits. Push that through. They just have a little bit sticking out like that. Then you find the other end. And the other end. Just cut off the uh, appropriate amount here, like that. And squeeze this end. Squeeze it hard. And you can just file it, shape it up a bit, you want it more square.
make it look more like a uh, connector and then <coughs> if you want to put a hole in it I've got a uh, sewing needle and then you have to do this off camera so, so I'll just get the center of it and punch a hole in it and I'll make another longer one for the battery terminal Just had to drill this uh, hole out here for the spark plug lead leads to fit through because I couldn't get I could only get two through them so I've just drilled it out a bit larger. Okay, I've done the uh, spark plug leads. I've connected it to the distributor, the solenoid, and I've put the decals on the canister. Okay, I've been messing around with this and I've been putting in the brake lines using the 24 gauge wire and connecting it connecting it to the uh, drum brakes at the rear and from the master cylinder here through to the uh, front diff the axle here Okay, so now I'm going to prime all this and then uh, give it a red oxide covering before I put the uh, olive drab even though the uh, looks a bit wonky it's not nice and neat like a uh, a refurbished Jeep for showroom condition it's actually more probably realistic because this would be getting stones and branches caught up in the axle on the battlefield so the uh, these brake lines will get a bit bent and damaged decided to glue the drum brakes on rather than assemble the whole wheel and tire and put it all on at the same time so you just you can do the drums and the drum brake cover 
and make sure there's like a there's a spacer that goes in there and you get that in and then when you do your wheel and your tie that you just push it on okay I've primed the chassis I'm going to spray the chassis with worn effects and then I'm going to uh, spray olive drab and khaki drab mix these two together 50-50 Okay, when this dries, I'm going to uh, spray it with clear coat, clear coat it, and then give it another coat of worn effects, and then I'll go over with the uh, khaki drab, not solidly all over it, just sort of lightly, especially where I've taken too much off here on the uh, too much paint off, and I'll go over with that again okay I've sprayed the wheel hubs and I've done the worn effects and I've sprayed the tyres the two halves a uh, 
sprayed it with rubber black and then just around the thread the the, uh, the tread I went around with the uh, flat black just along the tread here so it looks a bit more a bit more faded on the uh, tire wall you can just sort of see it the engine in, glued that in, battery regulator and the radiator. The radiator I managed just to click in there, I didn't have to glue it and it fits in fairly tight so there was no need to glue that. And the only other thing, uh, i got to get the, um, got to paint this exhaust so I've got to get that in through through this side here so I'll weave it through the bottom like that and then I can uh, twist it manipulate it around I did it before and 
because you're supposed to do all this before but I didn't follow the instructions anyway I can get it in I've got to take it out and paint it anyway and get it under the uh, manifold there here yeah, like that Okay, I've sprayed the worn effects 
and I spray the uh, olive drab mixture then I clear coat it again and then put more worn effects and then I sprayed randomly with dark iron <clears throat> just around maybe around the floor and just underneath so I let this dry and then I'm going to go well, I've taken too much paint off I'm just going to go over again with the uh, olive drab mixture just lightly in between the panels alright I've gone over with the uh, olive drab mixture just sort of around the panels here like that in between and then I'll uh, clear coat this and then I'll do some weathering underneath before I put this onto the chassis because it'll be easier to do it before you put it on I drill the holes out here for some of the cables to come through the um, one two three four and I'm putting in the fuel lines just putting in the fuel lines into the uh, fuel filter here got the um, air filter canister there the horn some of the lighting cable here just drilled a hole into the uh, transmission here just for this uh, I think it's the handbrake cable so I've just drilled a hole here just to keep it secure there and then this will come around through the uh, firewall there's a little hole here I think it's the handbrake I'm not too sure so I've just sort of used this uh, it's kind of like thin braided hose with a clear vinyl coating on it fitted the um, the uh, tub body so I had trouble it wouldn't sit flush down on here on these I think these two here so I've just slightly enlarged these connection holes here pin holes so I might have to do some work on here again fit okay at the front it's just this um, just here so it's not fitting flush here we just have to file off more on the uh, connectors here and it should fit flush I've got to get this tow bar here flush with the uh, panel stubborn little critter so I'm going to take all this off again and fit it again When you assemble the uh, windshield frame and you put these uh, latches on 
you need to make sure that you glue them on a, like a 45 degree angle. The reason being, when you fit it to the uh, Jeep, it won't, uh, so you allow it to close like that. Otherwise, if you if you glue these on straight, like it looks like on the instructions, you won't be able to um, lift the windshield because it will just hit the uh, dashboard like that. Okay, I've just sprayed the uh, hood and I've done the uh, grease gun that goes inside and I've weathered that and I've done the um, the fuel tank just got to put some fuel stains in there and dirty it up a bit I've put in the um, Here's an oil, uh, oil canister fits in there. I've painted the uh, seat cushions with NATO black for the shadow, and now I'm going to spray XF51 khaki drab. fix the uh, tub onto the chassis it's a lot better now and I've uh, connected the light cables here across the radiator or the grill here into the uh, back of the headlights and the uh, brake the handbrake cable here now it's got to fit out the um, interior <music> Okay, I've done the uh, dials, the instrument panels, and applied the decals on here. And I've brushed on some clear gloss on the dials just to give a bit of reflection. my tools shovel and the axe and I've sprayed the worn effects now I'm going to spray it with um, 
the olive drab mixture and then do some weathering on them. When you apply these decals, the serial number that goes on the hood, it's a good idea to cut as close as you can around the uh, numbers in the letters because it has a large uh, transparent uh, part of the decal and you can just see, you can just see the lip of it, it's like one big square, like a sticker that you put on. Okay, there's my tack on 1 16th quarter ton Jeep all finished minus the driver I've positioned the uh, I've glued the hood latches in a position where you can obviously close it and open the hood these uh, latches here and this uh, this wire cutter bar I didn't glue this in it just clips in because maybe later on I might do something else here so I'll just take that off I did some weathering on the windshield here might put in some uh, earth, European earth pigment, just dust it around the tyres. So the uh, you can fold down the shield. I haven't put the uh, I haven't put the rifle holster down yet, this one, because <clears throat> I'm waiting for my um, 1 16th scale US weapons. 
So this will go on the inside of the, uh, like that. And then I could put a um, M1 Garand rifle or whatever in there. And I'm going to put some stowage just hanging off the side. I'll do a separate video later on. Just a short display video with all the um, accessories and the driver. And you lift this the shield it click you can hear it click in again when you lock locks in like that One more detail I wanted to put in. I don't know what it is. It's like a bar. It goes from from the top of the radiator to here. I'm going to put that in later. The uh, M250 caliber. I also didn't, I didn't glue the ammo box because I think the uh, the aftermarket sets you can get the um, the cartridge belt and uh, I want to get that in so it'll, it's got the uh, ammunition coming out on the other side the uh, the feed belt with the open canister so I didn't, so I didn't glue that in. I've already glued the steering wheel in, so I don't know if that's going to be a problem putting in the driver. I'm not too sure. There's a few accessories I still want to add to it. Uh, this video is just the uh, completed model okay